Hi guys, so let's get started right away. Um, today I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and this is for a matte finish. As you can tell by the title, uh, most of the products I'll be using today are from Wet n Wild with the exception of two. Next I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15 in the shade Cream Ivory and this is for light to medium warm skin tones. This foundation smells really good too, by the way. It's delicious. Next, I will be using the Wet n Wild Concealer Stick in the shade Follow Your Bisque. Um, I'm just applying it under my eyes, in the middle of my nose, and a small triangle in my forehead and I will be buffing it with a brush. I usually use a beauty sponge, a beauty blender to um, buff the concealer, but this one's a little bit thick and I found the brush worked a lot better. I will also be taking some of that concealer on my eyelids just to take some of that discoloration off. Next I'm using a contour stick in the shade Oaks on You to do a little bit of cream bronzing. Next, I'm using the Wet n Wild Blush Stick in the shade Hustle and Glow. Next, I'm using the Caramel Toffee Contouring Palette and I'm taking some of that banana shade just to um, highlight under my under my eyes and all the areas where I applied the concealer. I'm using the darker shade from the same palette um, to do a little bit of bronzing. using some of that banana shade just to define my um, my contour a little bit more from the Dulce de Leche palette I'm using the darker shade just to contour my nose a little bit um, the one from the caramel toffee palette it's a little bit too warm for my nose so I decided to go with this one instead Just dusting off all the banana powder. Right here, um, I don't know if you can tell, there's a lot of creasing going on in my eyelids. So what I do next is just grab a little brush and buff the concealer out and add some of that banana uh, powder just to set them in place. I use some of that um, caramel toffee darker shade as a um, eyeshadow. Not doing anything else with eyeshadow today. I want it to be very simple. Um, just wanted to add a little bit of warmth to the crease. I am taking a Wet n Wild uh, liquid liner and doing a wing liner.
And at first, uh, this liner looks very wet, almost um, shiny, but it does dry down to a matte finish. Next, I'm just curling my eyelashes and adding some mascara. This is the Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. I put some lashes off camera, which are not from Wet and Wild, and now I'm doing my brows. Usually, I do my brows at the beginning of my makeup sessions. But I wanted to leave this for last just so you can see um, how I do my brows. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, this eyebrow pencil. Um, this is from Wet n Wild and it's the Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade 628A Dark Brown. I love how this eyebrow pencil is very easy to use and I was able to mimic um, hairs on the inner part of my brows as you can see right here and it looks so beautiful. I really really enjoyed working with this pencil. This is one of the things that I did not have from Wet n Wild and it's the set of setting spray um, so I just used um, the Smashbox primer water before I added some of the highlight the highlight is from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Precious Petals I used some of that highlight uh, for the inner corner of my eye as well and for lips I'm using the Liquid Catsuit in the shade Flame of the Game Now I'm just taking a makeup removing wipe and wiping off any foundation that um, was in my hair. And this is the finished look. Just something very bronzy with a pop of color on the lid. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching.